What's up, Shiz Beats? Uh, today I'm gonna show you guys how to create your own expansion pack with the new update that I kind of released of 1.7.2. So uh, let's get started. You know, you gotta install the update, um, and pretty much the NPC builder is in your applications folder, utilities folder, which is down here. And you can just add it right to your dock, you either drag or right click it options keep it in dock so pretty much we do let's load this up now the MPC expansion builder you must fill out all this information the exact same way so today I'm show you guys how to create it and then I'll show you a free website where you can actually create your own website and you can sell stuff post videos up do live streaming and everything so pretty much let's get started with this Let's grab an image real fast. Okay, that's my image. And I'm just going to name this personal. Dot. Remember the dots have to be in there. Shiz Beats. My name dot. And then the name of the kit, Supreme Drums. Okay, let's copy this. Put this for the title. And in fact, I'm going to put my corporation, 16 levels, version 1.0.0.0, description, drum kits, you know, from Shiz Beats. All right. Now, content is pretty much where you uh, choose your content directly is where you have your drum sounds saved or programs anything that you created when you was making your own production and you want to share it with users you know your friends or maybe youtube users or like i said sell it so let's click this and pretty much have a folder which is favorite drums now you see i already had a drum kit that i made in here which is um these are key programs i haven't made any other regular programs but these key programs key groups so let's hit open and let's hit do it. It's gonna come up with a warning. You know, you can disregard that. You don't have a demo sequence, which you can add in demo sequences, you know, once you create the whole thing. So let's hit create and let's save it. Mm, desktop. And matter of fact, now let's save it. My users personal drum kits for sale. You can see I created one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save, replace it. It says it's okay. So let's close that window. Let's go to the PC. Now what you do is go back to that, you know, where you saved it out in your hard drive. I keep, like to keep my, you know, my folders labeled and everything so I can find it. Just grab the XPN and drag it right here. And a window should pop up. You know, it brings up the name, all the stuff you input it, hit import. Now when you go to the expansion window, it's right there. It brings up the programs, it brings up the samples. Now let's say you want to create sequences. This is the easiest thing to do. Let's drag in three three drum sounds. Let's do this kick. Let's do this snare. Let's do a hi hat. Okay. And let's create a sequence real fast. Okay, we got our sequence down. So let's um, name the sequence Supreme 
drum spawn. Name the program Supreme Drums One. Okay. Let's go save. And what we do is um, like I said, you could put this back in that folder where you have your stuff saved at. And Supreme Drums demo save now okay you saved it there now another thing you could you also have to do is go back to file save current program same folder overwrite it just to make sure save current sequence see how I put sequence one you definitely got to make sure you have the sequence there I'll show you why okay now that's that you can quit that now all we got to do is add that into that folder where it saved it where it imported your expansion your expansion is always in your users so in order to view that you go to go hit option library application support Akai and PC now that's a folder I created. Now this is where the folder I just created. Now let's do new finder window. Navigate back to where we saved. And what you want to do is you want to copy these two items, put it in this directory. Okay. You also want to come into your project bring these two over your sequence your XPN copy bring that here now if you didn't save the supreme drum sequence and it just saved this one let's copy this over bring this here so I'm gonna show you what will happen now let's go back to our NPC so you can see everything expansion now if you go to sequence you see how I have two sequences when I load this up it will not load the program with it you will have the mini notes but you won't have the program that's why you got to make sure when you save in it you save the whole project then you come back and then you save the current program current sequence so that you can have the sequence because what that does is it you know it travels it follows so let's go to new project don't save now watch what will happen when I hit the supreme drums sequence one it loads up exactly everything how we saved it so you want to make sure that um you do you know just save the you know save the current program save the current sequence um, you can go back into that folder even with that open and delete that move that to trash uh, it won't it won't take you gotta reset we have to restart the program don't save it open it up go back to expansion we only got one sequence in our one project when you open up the demo it will load everything exactly how it was that's when you go to the save and save your regular project but then you must make sure you save your current sequence you don't really have to save your current program because it saves it when you save the whole project but make sure you save your current sequence because for some reason it doesn't carry over it doesn't come up as a sequence it comes up as a one sequence not a supreme drums sequence okay so um now it's this cool website that i'm gonna show you real fast how you can load everything up create a website for free which is called wix.com so as you can see all you do is just google let's go to google real fast uh create Free website it's right there I already searched it 
is pretty much the top one past the ads that you got. So once you click it, it'll come over to this website. And you pretty much just go ahead and create. It gives you templates that you can start from. You can see that um, I'm working on mine. So let's say, let's go to my site real fast. As you can see, that's not my site. Right here, at the site. And it comes up pretty much to how I was creating the website. Um, pretty much, you know, you can edit these, which is clicking it, and then you go to pages and you can edit the text on it by hitting the little gear. You can name it different, however you want it, like home. Um, let's close this window. And then you can add links, like this one right here. Um, I gotta find a correct link to my Ustream because what I'm gonna do is set up a little day, two days of the week where I'm doing live beat making via Ustream or try to find something that's better uh, streaming quality for live, for live material. But say if you wanna add a text, right? Let's edit text. Let's create a link, web address. Let's put the link which we could put on YouTube. Hit OK. So it doesn't add it there, so you have to go ahead and do it manually here. Okay. Copy that, make that a link, hit web address, paste it there, hit OK. Now pretty much what I'm doing here is like these links, you would have to link this to your store to where you want to sell your expansion. Now you can create as many expansions as you like. You could do uh, drum sounds, you could do uh, keyboard sounds if you know how to map keyboard out from one instrument. You know, like say if you take the middle C, you can pretty much, if you know your octaves and your semitones, you can pitch that across the keyboard. Um, but this link right here, I direct it. Or you can actually go up to here where you got a store and put your links there. So let's hit preview. Say if I go here, it should open up my YouTube. Bam, right there. So pretty much this can open up your store. If you're going to sell it on PayPal or pretty much, you know, PayPal show you how to put a link and you can find like um, HTML boxes to where you could put like a sound, you know, pretty much your music in if you want to sell beats and all that stuff. You can do that via that type of editor. So if we go back to here, we can go to store. You see, I didn't finish it, but pretty much, you know, you can go ahead and just edit all this. I'm in preview right now, so I can't edit the music. You know, these could be videos, pretty much from YouTube, like a whole website. And I go back to editor now. One thing that's cool is you create a desktop, it automatically creates a mobile. So it pretty much there you go right there. And it's free. You know, you don't have to pay no money. I'm not sure about the domain name when you go ahead and create your domain name, but it may be free. If it's not, maybe a couple bucks, but I think it's a pretty cool website. It, you know, it's for some guys I don't know, pretty much nothing about Dream Dreamweaver, where you gotta create your website from scratch for the Adobe products. Um, and that's pretty much it, you know, today. Show you guys how to create your own expansion pack and the new MPC 1.7.2 and get it over to your free website on Wix.com. Uh, please leave comments, rate, subscribe, and um, check out some more videos I'll be uploading pretty soon. Thanks for watching.